Welcome back to another video everyone. In one of my most recent videos, I discussed a few possible options for Cedar Point in the near future, specifically regarding coasters that could be leaving the park. And I got a lot of comments on that video where people were discussing several options for Cedar Point in terms of actually expanding the park into portions of the parking lot. So I thought that as much as people were discussing this, it warranted um, a separate video on the subject. So I'm here to talk about that today. So sit back, hold on, and let's discuss. The first option I'm going to be talking about today, and probably the most suggested really, is expanding the park out into the main parking lot. And they could do this outwards on either side of the current main entrance. And I don't think that they're going to move the main entrance at all because they just did that major overhaul in 2013 with Gatekeeper. And they got everything looking great. It's brand new. They're not going to do anything with that. So they're going to keep that entrance there, I believe. And they could, on either side of the entrance, move the park out further. So you'd sort of have this um, narrow path that leads into the entrance. And they could just add a lot of area onto the park there along the beach. And, you know, Cedar Point is really focusing on that beachfront experience there when you walk in. They've done a really nice job so far of reviving that area and making it a lot more open, and it looks beautiful. And I think they're going to continue to do this in the future, and I'm all for it. So that's one option, is using that main parking lot to expand the park. Now, if you do that, you're going to have to replace those parking spots that you take away because Cedar Point is such a highly attended park, they need to be able to accommodate for days when, you know, they're completely full. So if they do this, they could add a parking garage, theoretically, where they remove some spots. And, you know, it could be like, you know, a three, four, five level parking garage. And they could fit several parking spots in a more compact space by building them up. One thing that does lead into, though, is the whole open sort of beachfront thing. It could block some of that off, but I don't think it'd be such a big deal, especially considering that it would be for um, a good purpose to accommodate more guests. And I'm going to start talking about the next option here at this point. A shuttle from the mainland. This, actually, is another commonly suggested solution for the future and where Cedar Point would have a main parking lot off of the peninsula on the mainland on Cedar Point Drive somewhere probably, and they would have shuttles that would bring people into the park. And I feel like this is a very doable option. Um, there's certainly other parks that have similar systems, and it's something that would probably work out fairly well. It probably wouldn't be too hard to implement. They would need several shuttles, I think this could really work out for Cedar Point. And they could still have some parking on the peninsula, maybe have it like preferred parking where you pay so much to park there or something like that. I'm sure they would still have parking in the peninsula, but um, it could be maybe more of an upcharge thing or parking for pass holders, you know, things like that. So that's a highly suggested uh, option for Cedar Point there. And one more thing I'm going to talk about here is a sort of like ferry service or maybe like a Jet Express type of deal where people would be transported to Cedar Point by boat. This could certainly be a more pricey option. I think the um, shuttle service would be more cost effective maybe, but they could even use like a Jet Express sort of thing as like a maybe a, a luxury um, or something like that. But, you know, they could have a parking lot across from the peninsula in downtown Sandusky and quickly transport people from downtown Sandusky to Cedar Point. And um, it, it's certainly an option, and I don't really have a whole lot to add to that, but um, what do you guys think about all these possibilities? All of this, everything we talked about here, 
is pure speculation. Cedar Point has not even suggested, to the best of my knowledge, that they're even going to be doing any of this at all in the future. And people have just sort of pointed out that at some point, Cedar Point is going to want to expand the park. But obviously, they can't just buy up more land around the park since they're on a peninsula. They have all the land already. So, if they want to add more area to the park, then the logistical solution, obviously, is going to be expanding out into the parking lot. So, these are just some sort of solutions to um, the issue of having less parking spaces. And none of these things have been hinted at at all by the park that I know of. And it's all pure speculation. None of this is probably even going to happen. If it happens at all, it's not going to happen in even the next 10 years, I don't think. Cedar Point still has quite a bit of land they, they can sort of work with to squeeze a lot of new attractions in, and they'll surely be removing some attractions in the future too to make way. Make sure you go check out my video on possible coasters that Cedar Point could remove, as this is sort of like a um, an add-on to that video. Just sort of, I, I wanted to address all the comments I was getting, because like I said, I was getting a, a really high volume of comments where people were talking about this, so I thought it'd be good to sort of address this in its own video. What do you guys think about all these options? I would love to know in the comments. And you want more content on theme parks and roller coasters? Be sure to subscribe, like, comment on this video, and I will see you guys all later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.